Yo, everybody out there. And I am using my phone that sometimes doesn't work with audio. It goes in and out. But I think I... But I'm not quite sure. But as long as I make noise or there's noise in the background, which you might hear, I think the audio works correctly most of the time. So, I'm giving y'all an update and a resolution video, and I hope it works, but if the audio gets, goes in and out, you know the problem with my damn phone. And we can talk about fixing it. We can talk about fixing it another day. I don't know what's going to happen. But now you guys know why I haven't been able to do walkie-talkies. Until my phone officially works with the audio, I don't know. Um, but that being said, if this video works with sound in the background, maybe that keeps the audio running. What happens? It goes in and out. But um, if it works this video even a little bit better after I watch this back, then I know that I have to make noise in the background or something to fix the audio. So this is a tester video as well. But let, here we go. I also have another old phone that broke that does work with the video and audio. And maybe I can hack into that one because it doesn't start. Apple bricked it. Like, whatever. They stopped making updates for it and it got bricked. But I can hack it and break it open. And then I can eventually use the video and audio from that phone and hopefully do walkie-talkies to my computer and then post it on the YouTube because that phone will not go count or straight to YouTube because I can't get the updated applications on the phone because they bricked it because it was old and broke or whatever. And so there's a lot. I have an iPad that I have to film on. It doesn't download the applications that I need no more, but it's still turns on the camera and all that, and I can videotape and do decent audio with that. And that's what I did the other day, but I have to upload it to my, my PC, who's old and a POS as well. <laughs> and then I have to put it on YouTube. Problems, guys. But I'm doing my best. But I just wanted to give you guys this video, and I wanted to see if I fixed my phone. I changed a couple of settings on audio and video capture, like frames per second and looseless audio, compression audio. I don't know what I did, but it seemed like it was working better. Then I started to witness that when I like make noises or it constantly records or I constantly talk, that maybe the audio won't go in and out like it used to after I made these setting changes. So it's very complicated. It's very stupid. I don't understand it. So I hope this video is not that bad with bad audio. Uh, and if it's decent, then I will be using this camera until maybe I'm able to hack the other one and fix that one to do walkie-talkies. Because that's part of my New Year's resolution. And I got a lot of other fears beyond my non-working phone to do walkie-talkie videos. I just have bad equilibrium. So when I'm doing a lot of things, if I don't focus on the ground, I might fall. Heart starts pumping. There's also a lot of homeless people around. That scares me. I'm afraid to get robbed or anything. If you have a, a nice phone. You know, I'm afraid of all that. Accidentally showing a location or something where people will try to dox me and find my my place of residence and I just fear a lot of things guys. So a lot of you guys keep complaining. Oh, you, all you do is talk about doing it. You never do it. You always have an excuse whether it be your phone. You're this, you're that, you're that you know. I'm being fucking honest guys. Make resolutions, I make promises, and then it works out or it doesn't. Or I do it halfway or I don't, or I do it 10% instead of 100 I get it. I am a failure. But I keep trying. It's okay, guys. And I know you get frustrated. And the only reason I'm speaking on this 
is because I had a, a member mention that, you know, I'm tired. I've been a member for like 10 months and promising this video or that video and you're not doing it. You know, my, I'm not going to pay for the membership. You don't deserve it. I'm sorry you feel that way, brother. I'm sorry I could not please. And even please my own life. I'm sorry. But I hope you see my heart. I hope you see that I'm doing the best to my abilities, which I don't have any or many of. But I appreciate you. Thank you for everything. All right. That being said, this year, my, my only resolution is to make resolutions in 2025. You get it? I thought that was funny. No, I have I have too many to name. I didn't actually make a list, but I just I need to figure out routines and I need to get up and go to work. That doesn't mean in real life. It just means in my life. Even me get, waking up at a decent hour and going to work on the computer, fixing a merchandise store, writing emails, calling managers or agents or people, communicating. That is a job to me. And I need to do that more. That's one of my big resolutions. And I hope I can get that into fruition because I have so many barriers that I, I'm not able to overcome all the time. But I got to keep trying. I got to keep trying. I just don't do good with routines. I don't do good with routines. And um, <clears throat> another big resolution is I'm tired of being afraid. I can't stop myself from being afraid. But you know what? I can start saying what's on my mind and my jokes a little bit more without worrying if I offended somebody or if I'm going to get canceled or whatever the situation is or if somebody's going to think less of me. I got to stop worrying about them and hope that they see my heart post my idiotic jokes for whatever reason. But on YouTube... You can't do some of that stuff, the controversial stuff, the controversial jokes, because then you get flagged of dollars, which I do on YouTube. You know, I, I don't make that much, guys. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Oh, how much does he make on YouTube? I think I have like 40, 50 members at the most right now, which I thank you for it. And um, this past month, it just ended yesterday, and I looked at it, and I made $104 on this channel with memberships so that ain't good and then i made luckily it was a good month for my raiders channel with donations and live streams and super chats i made 225 for december on that channel so all together five dollars to to my my bank account this january when i get paid in like three weeks from youtube but I, I have to live off $1,600 a month. And with all my other income streams, if I'm only making three, four hundred on you, all the YouTube channels, which I don't all the time, it's more like 200, 250 normally. But, uh, you know, then I. And I don't know why I'm telling you guys, but, but like I said, to just be honest and truthful and not care if I offend anybody by speaking the truth or my truth. Uh, with residuals from acting and all that, it's, there's no guaranteed income, but it's anywhere between 400 and 700 a month. And it, goes, it gets less each and every year. So, if you figure, let's put it at four or 500 at worst, then I make 200, 250 on YouTube, that's 750. I need to make 1500 every month, guys, just to live a minimalistic life without credit cards, without a car, just to pay the bills and the little bit of stuff I have to pay. <laughs> so I, I need to find, you know, more income streams. Uh, I've been getting lucky. That's why I had to sell some extra money. But that being said, that's one of my resolutions, guys. And I, I hope you understand that I need to be more truthful and not be afraid of what I'm going to say or who I'm going to offend. offend. Uh, because I talked about my brother on a couple videos ago and then I got feedback from two, two people and they were like, oh, you're disrespecting your brother. You put his business out there and <laughs> man, he's put my business out there a million times in his life and, and hurt me. But that's not my intentions. 
my intentions are to tell my stories family and whatever's going on that causes me. that's it that's my intentions but I do worry and stuff like that and I don't like seeing comments like that it's often I gotta be better I gotta be better at not worrying about other people if I lose a member because they're mad at me you know then if they if they get mad at me and then you know they they're not getting what they want well, then I'm not going to get their dollar and 20 cents. You know, that being said. Or that like, that hit that like button. Again, I try to please everybody, but I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm struggling as a human being. I have a lot of flaws, a lot of barriers, a lot of issues. But I got a big heart. And I want more for myself. I'm not happy with my life. And my life feels like it. it's always in a dark tunnel. Or I'm always in a dark place depression, whatever it may be. And then I got people in my ear that are working with me to help me get rid of that public image that I've been presenting, telling me not to make videos where I talk about this stuff. And it's a lot. It's a lot for me. I get stressed out. It's a lot for me. And I don't know no other way. But there is one way that we just had to talk about where I can do this less. I can stop complaining or making posts, talking about problems or whatever. I won't ever stop it. There always might be that every month where I'm just in a weird mood and I just needed to vent. Unfortunately, I do it publicly and that's one of the problems that people have, even celebrities or actors or people that are in the front. We, we need the public for some reason. Why? Why? You know, not only to pay our bills or to support us, we need that feedback. We need that love, that, that response. But we feel the need to, to tell our issues to, you know, like for some sort of either sympathy, understanding, or fame, or whatever the fuck it is. That is born in a lot of performers or bred in them while they're, you know, maybe they become a little bit popular as a, as a child actor or whatever. It's just a very interesting dynamic. But I got to stop trying to be so accessible. And I don't mean no disrespect, but I'm an accessible actor. Um, meaning, for the most part, I communicate or I at least say hi, where you actually know I saw your or I responded to it. Whether we become friends officially or we talk to each other every day or, you know, I give you my phone numbers and we hang out, you know, that might not happen. Beautiful girls. Hey, I'm looking for a wifey. Forgive me. I'm going to flirt a lot. But that being said, I'm an accessible actor. And I got to be less of one. That's what, you know, the professionals tell me. Because then that way... I won't be judged as much. But then some people say, oh, he's an asshole, or he's a this, or he's a that. You can't win either way. You can't win either way, guys. But I got to be less accessible, and I got to be less worried about judgment and critique and take it on the shoulder. And the real people that like me, adore me, appreciate me, love me, respect me, or whatever... They're going to stick around and we're going to eventually build a pretty good community, hopefully built off of good vibes, good spirits and good times and good people. But we are going to have the occasional riffraffs, critiquers, dramatic personalities, the trolls, the haters, all them. And um, yeah, it's a sad state of the world. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. But I still want to be more truthful and I want to start telling my jokes whether they're cringe, embarrassing, or whatever, because they make me laugh, and they make me feel alive, and they make me feel like I'm having a good time. I need to go back to that and stop worrying about others and, and other stuff like that. So, this is what's going on in my life, and this is what's happening. But I'm excited for the future, guys. I'm going to start my official podcasting journey you want to call it if it's a podcast 
every week or two have guests, uh, different guests. I don't know where they're going to be from, what credits, what career they're going to have. I'm just going to hang out and talk, see what happens. I want to make it a big professional show where I do comedy five or ten minutes like a talk show. I ain't got the money. I ain't got the technology. I ain't got the graphic skill set, the editing skills, the computer, the knowledge. I have to work with what I got. Every week, every month, or something different in every podcast that I do to make it a little bit unique and memorable instead of just the boring talking for an hour or whatever. But I'm... Whatever it's going to be, it's going to be, guys. And I hope you guys sign up, become a member, hit that like button, that subscribe button. Consider becoming a member of this channel to support me and all my future endeavors for early extra content. And we're going to be starting, I'm going to be figuring out how to give away giveaways and be more accessible to the true people that have stuck around and supported me. And again, I know it sounds like I'm... But it's actually only three or four things that I need to do and I need to figure it out. And I hope I do. I may fail. It may be a month or so till I officially get it all working. It may take a year. But I guarantee you I'm going to have a podcast each and every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Pacific time. That's it. I'm making a routine. I have to stick by that date. And I don't know every week if I'm going to have guests or if I'm just going to hang out, critique, watch videos, talk to you guys, do analytical. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. But every Wednesday night, starting maybe tomorrow, let's shoot for tomorrow night. But more professionally, a week from now, the following Wednesday. But tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Pacific, I'm going to go live each and every Wednesday. One week it might be a gameplay. One week it might be a, the podcast. Who knows? But I'm going live each and every Wednesday night. I'm going to have some sparingly videos on the side. That all out as we But I'm excited, guys. And if you are a member of this channel, I will be contacting some of you guys or friends a future podcast where I want to talk to you and I want to talk to my fans and my friends and I want them to learn who you are and what you do okay it's not only a podcast for child actors or any celebrities that I might be able to get it's a podcast for everybody importantly it's also a podcast for me in my life and to do what I love and also I need to get back to talking shit and having a good time. That's what the new year is going to bring. I hope and I appreciate you all. And I hope out with audio too much. But I explained everything in the beginning. And if you didn't hear it earlier. I have major phone problems. Hopefully a walkie talkie. The next. The next week. Hopefully a walkie talkie with a working phone. Or a hacked phone. The next week. And if it doesn't come through, then you know what happened. I wasn't able to get it done. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. And tomorrow night, going live 7 p.m. Every Wednesday night for damn sure. Hit that bell for notifications. I love you guys. Take care. And please subscribe. Please become a member. Please hit the like button. I love you. Happy New Year. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if everybody celebrated everything like they do with a happy new year? Hey, happy it. Hey, happy next breath. Hey, happy poop. Hey, happy television show episode three of Quantum Leap. Hey, happy going to sleep. That would be an interesting thing if everybody celebrated everything that way. It would especially be hilarious on social media and in talk shows and TV specials at midnight for every single thing. Thought that was funny. And in a little, a little joke that maybe people don't know, 
somebody sent me a special message and they wrote, hey, hope you had a happy New Year's. And then I wrote back, I don't know. It just started. It's still going. Do you understand that joke and why I said that? Let me know in the comments if you do. Love you guys. Tomorrow night and each and every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Pacific.